And then here's some of my early sort of vision ideas. So like I said, and then I'll give you guys an opportunity to kind of kind of give me some input and some, some advice, if you will, after this. So I would like to develop an early college high school program with Palomar. Palomar is very open to the idea. They want to reach out to the community. They want to be a better part, a bigger part of our, of our schools. Um, that would allow students to graduate with their IGETSI, which essentially means their two year, two year complete of, of college going into their junior year. Um, or vocational certification, or just, just some college credits, just some things that they can take in and you know, save money as they decide where they want to go. Um, I think that we need to increase our dual enrollment courses. We need to be going for that golden four. So we have a lot of college courses now, but what we're not, we have the math component in place of that four, but we need to be offering things more like some of the critical thinking classes, like a philosophy class, or a psych class, or even a critical or a creative writing class at the college level. Um, we also need to be offering some, some, some English courses. Uh, we need to be really developing those courses that are going to basically help students get through their four, first year. And what really the golden four is, is basically the requirements that most colleges have for freshmen. So if we can get take care of those, we've already given those kids a huge a foot up. Yes? I've never heard the term golden four, so I heard you talk uh, critical thinking, English, and math. Critical thinking, English, and math, those are the first three. And then the other one is, is oral communication. So it has to do with, with, with and there's, there's a variety of courses that can meet those, but those are essentially the, the first classes that freshman year of college that you want to take. And usually it's just freshman English, freshman math, what have you. Um, so that's something else. I think that as we, as we develop, as we grow, um, building a comprehensive arts program is going to be pretty key. Arts gives students a place to belong. They, um, there's been all kinds of studies that show that kids that take part in the arts, they do better on comprehensive testing, they, they do better in school, they're more well-rounded, they're more balanced, they don't have as many health issues. Arts is apparently the, the golden elixir of education, if you will. And I think that you know, while we have a couple of arts courses here and there, we share those teachers with the middle school, and I think we really need to develop a program of our own at the high school. And as we move into our new campus, having a great state-of-the-art theater would be a great thing to be looking at. A place where the community can come, we can have dance recitals, we can have choir, we can have all kinds of things. I mean, this is a, this is a great opportunity for us. I'm, um, I'm assuming that the arts program you're talking about, the visual, because the performing, we have. We, we have, we have. But I'm just talking I'm, about more the, the I'm, visual but we, share, but we share her with the middle school. So I'm, okay. sharing, I'm saying bring it in, develop it, just for make it, okay. make it, Make it bigger, make it more comprehensive. Um, so, and so yes, so theater, music, and visual arts. Okay. Yes. Um, more comp opportunities for competition, both athletic and academic. We talked about things like mock trial, kind of a mock trial junkie. I'll, I'll just say it, I don't know why, I love it, I love to watch it. Um, but academic decathlon, um, more sports programs, you know, as, again, as we develop, as we, as we, as we have better facilities, that will allow for, for more and better athletic programs. Again, I always think that our, our focus should be on academics, but we all know the benefits of, of being part of, of, of athletic teams. Learning all, those, um, learning all those those lessons that are taught there, and just the connection to the adults that come with competition, it just can't be replicated in the classroom. You know, you learn, you get, you know the kids at a very, at a very deeper level when you're, when you're part of those things. Um, and then strengthen the culture of the school through building deeper connection with students, their families, and the greater community. So, so more opportunities to bring the community into the school, more opportunities to share what we're doing, more opportunities to, to, for you to give input, um, those kinds of things. So that's kind of that's those big issues. And then, and as I said, I mean, I'm, I'm still in sort of listening and learning mode. So those are some things that I think are important that I've been able to identify for really the first month that I've been here, but now I'd like to hear from you. So what are, what are your ideas? What are some things that I missed? And what's important to you as a community?